Hi, here's another video about the app that I showed in uh, some of my videos, especially the battery video. Um, it's called TM Spy. I'm going to show you here. Uh, but I'm also recording the screen on this uh, phone where I have the app running. So I'm going to put that in the video here from now on so you can see what I'm talking about. So first of all, what does this uh, app really do? Um, it connects to the CAN bus of the car. CAN bus is, um, according to Wikipedia, I have it up here, controller area network. Uh, it's a vehicle bus standard designed to allow microcontrollers and devices to communicate with each other in applications without a host computer. So there's a definition. Um, basically, it's just all the data that uh, comes from all kinds of uh, uh, sensors and controllers in the car, and you can capture that. You can read that. and. Um, the way this app gets that information, this is just a car, <clears throat> this is just a charging cable. There is no physical connection to the car. The way it's done is um, I'm putting a little Bluetooth adapter onto the plug that goes into the CAN bus and that transmits the data to the phone. And then the uh, app interprets that and makes something useful out of that. Um, so, so just under the main touch screen is that little cubby here, this little space, and the cable is hidden behind there, and the way to access is you just pull this down. You don't need a lot of force, and you can see right away, here it is. It is not the right plug to plug in one of those uh, Bluetooth adapters, so you need an adapter in between this one that goes to the other end of the Bluetooth adapter. I'm going to post a link where you can get those. What I have done, I made a little adapter myself. I took one of those adapters and directly connected it to the Bluetooth adapter by just soldering it and then putting it into a clear casing here. Not the most pretty solution, but it's hidden away. So you just... Let me see if I can show you. So here you just plug this in the other way I guess and then I can put it back in there and hide it completely away in this little hole here you can see it hides in that little hole and I can close this and I'm good to go and never have to worry about it anymore what can this app do um, there's tons of data available on the canvas and unfortunately it's undocumented Tesla doesn't have it have a, a, a public um, document what these commands all mean, but there's some smart people who figured out what it means and um, have kind of documented it. Mostly Jason Hughes um, should get a lot of credit for that. He's been doing a lot of work on, on the cars, on the Teslas, and has figured out a lot of things. Anyway, so this app actually shows you a few things that are interesting regarding the battery. Um, the first screen here is the temperature, and you can see there are 16 double lines. Um, double lines because there is also always an input and an output for the cooling of this module. There are 16 modules in the car, the, the battery is designed in, in groups, and then it's put together in modules, and the modules are um, linked together as a chain, basically. So we can see the input and output temperature of the coolant going in and out of each module, so we can compare whether the car is actually heating it or cooling the battery and also how they are in line with each other whether one module is higher or lower than the other at the bottom you can see the state of charge 65.3 percent so it shows it a little more accurate than the normal ui the car, um, that the car would do if i click on the lower left uh, section here i'm going to switch to the balancing mode now you can see uh, 96 uh, uh, little lines here and they are um, representing the voltage of the battery. Um, actually, the voltage of each group. And you can see how they uh, vary a little bit. 5 millivolts, that's the big number at the top. That's the maximum difference between the lowest and the highest. 5 millivolts is really, really good. That's um, about 0.15% or something like that. On good days, um, I have about 3 to 4 millivolts. That's good. But even like up to 10 millivolts would be totally, totally amazing. So um, at the top, again, there is my VIN, which I'm going to blur out. And then we have the pack voltage, 370 volts right now. And the car is drawing 1.1 amps from the battery. That 
contributes to 370 watts right now. And the reason is that I have the computer, like the main screens are on and I actually have the air conditioning running just a little bit here. Um, second line pack is 72.8. Uh, that means that the pack has, uh, that's the total capacity uh, that the car reports or the battery reports that it has. And then the remaining is how much you've charged. In my case, uh, 47.6 kilowatt hours. That's what I have left in a battery that's usable. Uh, third number is the odometer, 116,000 miles. And then there's two numbers, discharge and charge. That is just the amount of energy that went into the battery and out of the battery and just on the battery level. So not on the grid level. Um, it's actually measured at the battery level. Um, what else is interesting? You can zoom out or in, whether you uh, tap on the top, you can zoom out and you can see the scale goes from uh, 4.25 down to 3.45 or you can tap on the bottom and then you can zoom in and you can see the difference is a little better. Uh, let's see, let's go back to this screen. If you tap on the screen here, you can see a graph and I'm gonna actually uh, record, right now I'm sitting in the car just doing this video, but I actually recorded a session as I was driving and I'm gonna put that uh, on in a minute. And you can see the voltage and amps on the main pack, how it changes and affects each other as you're driving. Start graphing, there we go. And I'm gonna start driving now, just so we can see something going on. I'm backing out of the driveway, so not much happening here right now. And now I'm putting down the accelerator a little bit. You can see the amps go up and almost like mirroring the voltage of the pack drops and you can see that those two numbers are seem like perfectly connected and that's just the way a battery works the more power you draw from it the more the voltage drops all right I'm gonna go down the road where I have a little bit open and I'm gonna floor it and see what actually happens All of this capturing here, um, you can save to a file and load it wherever you want. The app has a connection to Dropbox, so you can automatically sync things to your Dropbox. You don't have to download it from your phone. And you can see at the bottom, the amps, if you go into below the green line, that's regen, that's a positive, it's charging the battery. It's... So now I'm gonna just floor it. see I went to about almost a thousand amps and the voltage dropped to 287. Here's another if you tap again here's another screen that shows the balancing in a different way it shows it puts all uh, modules or sh should I say groups um, all the groups that are the same that puts it in one vertical line here and you can see how they differ it's just a different way to look at that. If you tap again you go back to the temperature screen um, that's pretty much all that the app does so it's not a whole lot um, but I think the most important thing is um, how the ba the pack is balanced and um, I said that in the other video I've had this app running for about a year now and I have never seen my battery pack no matter what the state of charge is no matter what the conditions were no matter how I treated a battery, how much I charged it or discharged it, whether I had the car sitting for two weeks or not, um, the balancing was always perfect, almost perfect. And I consider five or four millivolts really, really amazing. That's really, really good. Um, so there's no worry about it all about the pack getting out of balance and losing range. I think Tesla does an amazing job. So basically looking at the data from a year, um, I can say that with confidence that balancing is never an issue. The other really interesting numbers, obviously, is the pack total capacity. Right now it shows 72.8, which means I have lost quite a bit. I don't, I did not have this app when the car was new, unfortunately, but I was able to uh, connect this to a Kelowna car that was much newer than mine, but it was the same car. And I got about 78 point something uh, kilowatt hours total. So I guess when the car is new, it has about 80 available, which is still short of the 85 that 
the uh, Tesla labels this battery, but nevertheless, um, 80 is what I think the maximum was. And now I'm down to 72.8. That's about it for the app. Um, I'm gonna put a link where you can get this. The app really isn't released, but you can email the developer and I think he'll be open to uh, let you download it. I hope, I'm not sure. I haven't really checked with him before I did this video. But I just wanted to show you guys what I'm using and where I'm getting some of the data from. I think it's very useful to have it as you drive. After a while, you kind of see that the battery management of the Tesla battery is really amazing, the way it handles temperature and all different, different conditions. As I said, the app itself works for, uh, via Bluetooth from the little adapter. I'm gonna show you where that is. Um, and I'm gonna put in a link where you can buy this adapter. And there's different uh, Bluetooth adapters as well. I tried a couple and I'm gonna link to the one that I found works best and the developer of the app also recommends that. And that works really great. It's Bluetooth 4.0, so um, connects really well. Oh yeah, real quick, um, let me just show you. You can select different um, Bluetooth connections here. Um, in the settings, you can also go to the settings and select feet, miles, miles per hour, or meters, kilometers, and kilometers per hour. You can go switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius, different languages. Uh, you can enable your Dropbox. You can automatically sync your files that will record and all kinds of other settings. You can figure that out if you want, and then you can uh, back up and restore your settings. Thanks again for watching so much for the app. Um, again, I put all the links to the adapters and adapter cable and the app itself down in the description. And as always, if you are buying a Tesla Model X or Model S, you can use that refer link down there. Not only will it give you $1,000 off, it will also give your car free supercharging. And only if you use this referral link, you get the supercharging. If you go to a normal store, uh, you get neither, uh, neither the $1,000 nor the supercharging. So it's definitely worth using it. All right, thanks so much. See you next time.